Mensuration Perimeter Length Breadth and perimeter of different figures Dad, how does the carpenter know how to make such a beautiful cupboard? Look at the cupboard. Everything is installed in the partitions so suitably. Dear son, a carpenter knows how to make such a beautiful cupboard. He takes all the measurements carefully and accurately so that each thing should be fixed suitably. All measurements means that? Measurements mean length, breadth, height, area or volume, etc. of any figure or thing. Let's see how the carpenter takes all the measurements. This is the top of a table. To make another table top, he first measures its length and breadth. The long side of the table is its length and the short side is its breadth. Then he takes a big plywood and marks appropriate length and breadth and cut through it. Dad, tell me more. Something, something more interesting. Okay. If you want to know more about mensuration, let's go through some terms. Perimeter. Look at the top of the table now. It has four sides. Let's say AB, BC, CD and DA and opposite sides of the same length, say 4 feet and 6 feet. Now consider only the sides. Perimeter is nothing but the sum of lengths of all these sides. Perimeter of table ABCD is equal to length of AB plus length of BC plus length of CD plus length of DA. That is, perimeter of table ABCD is equal to 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 is equal to 20 feet. The table may have different number of sides, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. While learning geometry or mathematics, we use such different shapes and sizes and figures and carpenters use this knowledge in this profession. The mathematical definition of perimeter is The distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go round the figure once. Try this. What is the perimeter of the figure? Very good! Your answer is correct! That is all in this topic, students. Now let us learn about perimeter of rectangle, square and triangle in our next topic.